welcome to my channel light as a feather tarot this is for the sign of scorpio so this is for your sun moon and rising sign so this is a timeless reading so whenever spirit brings you these messages that's when they were meant for you to hear since february is coming up i have gotten a lot of requests for a love reading so i'm gonna go ahead and look at the energies for love all right spirit what is whoops <laughs> too many cards spirit what is Scorpio need to know for love now this could be love for singles couples or um, self-love as well because I know everyone's in a different situation when it comes to love nice you guys are starting with victory and you have rest and rejuvenation nice so you have an eight and a two which is a ten which is a one and a 10 as well so let's see what love messages spirit has for you guys so you have forever learning so as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments nice so i'm getting some inner work here maybe working on yourself you know, so you can be, you know, the best version of yourself for your partner or your future partner. But I mean, ultimately for yourself, right? You have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay. So some of you literally may be going on some type of retreat, some type of vacation. Um, you also have rest and rejuvenation here. Uh, you might be really going within at this moment. And you know, a vacation doesn't have to be a big thing. Maybe you're going to rent, rent out a cabin. Um, maybe it's just going to be like some type of weekend thing. Um, but these two cards are really going together. So Scorpio, what message is for Scorpio? For love. Okay, so we're starting out with the Hierophant. Seven of Wands. Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Cups. So the overall energy is the Ten of Cups. This is um, emotional fulfillment, uh, contentment, happiness. You see that it's like a family on the front. Whatever your family dynamic looks like, but I feel like that is, that is what your energy is focused on right now. You have the Nine of Cups. So with the Nine of Cups, he brings in he or she brings in some type of genuine offer. Usually, it is something like a, a offer of love. So this could be um, someone new coming into your life or someone presently in your life. You have the Strength card. So really tapping into your inner strength, having faith that everything is going to work out. Right? Um, you have the Lover. So this could be you and your significant other, or there may have to there may be a choice that you have to make. You have the devil card here, so there may be some type of fears, doubts, obligations, and you have the eight of pentacles. That's you, uh, you know, working hard, looking at the details, you know, maybe you're working on yourself with, with the uh, forever learning here. So starting out, you have the Hierophant. So this, this speaks about making things official. This is about um, commitments, contracts. So some of you... I know this is a love reading. I'm I'm sensing like some type of uh, contract. Like maybe you're 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 building a house. You're planning um, to buy a house with 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 your significant other um, or for your family. If not, this is something. This is about making something official. Some type of commitment. Eight of Eight of Cups. This is something that you've manifested. This is something that you're moving forward with. So I feel like this is something that you wanted. And it has to do with you and your contentment and your, your happiness. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands in the Tower. So there's going to be something sudden, some type of sudden change or event. And with the Seven of Wands, you know, this is you. Um, this is you being on the higher side, right? So you see the arrows are pointed below you. 
any type of obstacles, any type of bumps in the road that comes up, you're going to you're going to be on the higher side. So you're you're going to be OK. You're going to be able to manage. Now, when the tower comes in, you know, something wasn't on the solid ground. So it comes in and, it you know, everything crumbles, but you're going to be able to rebuild. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune. So that's about divine timing, right? This is about your luck turning. And you do have victory here. So this this is a very, uh, very abundant energy. I feel like you're going to be moving away from any type of conflict, any type of arguments, any type of bickering, you know. You're going to be moving into this energy of the Nine of Cups, into uh, contentment, wish fulfillment. These cards really go together, you know, your satisfaction. And I feel like there's going to be... There's going to be some contentment when it comes to your household, when it comes to the stability of your relationship. Something the luck, your luck is turning when it comes to some type of conflict, whether it's internal or external. Very beautiful, guys. So let me get you. Let's get a, a ruin stone for you guys. What messages for Scorpio? Okay, so you're starting out with female. I'm going to get one more for you guys. And then you have uh, stand still. So with female, you know, this might just be talking about the feminine and masculine energy. Maybe right now you're focused. Okay, so the camera cut out. So with standstill here, I'm, I'm feeling like it's in regards to rest and rejuvenation and retreat. Um, I feel like there's going to be in the near future, especially with this tower moment, um, with this sudden change, you guys are going to really need to, to take a pause and go within and listen to your intuition. Um, for some of you, you may have to compose yourself, but I just feel like you're going to have to re uh regain your footing and just um reestablish your your groundedness if that makes sense so you have vine here seek out information that will help you so uh, maybe doing some investigations researching um reaching out to people or um, maybe some type of professional services for their advice you have bag here so something important such as a job or raise is coming in um yeah it's some a promotion, a, a new job, and it's really going to provide you uh, with a, a lot of happiness. There's going to be something um, of value coming into your life. Um, you know that that's a perk for you. For some of you, if you are partnered, you know something could be coming of value to them, and then you're like kind of reaping the the rewards or the benefits as well. You have a man, dealings and relationship with a man may be significant to your love situation. Also have gong, an exciting event. You know, um, there could be some type of celebration, some type of, uh, some type of anniversary that you guys are celebrating, or it could be this, this uh, influx of money coming in from you or your partner. And last but not least, you have tortoise slowly but surely getting ahead so you know with that card to me that's like taking things step by step like the energy of the knight of pentacles um you know if if things get a little bit shaky take it a, a day by day or take it minute by minute however you have to do it um but just know like moving at that that step by step uh, pace is really going to bring you um, that fulfillment. Anything that comes through that kind of uh, disturbs your peace or your or how grounded you are, just, you know, come back to this state of of composure, of quiet, like quiet your mind and it's really going to um, it's going to be that boost of energy to get you through anything, any any kind of challenges or, or obstacles that you come against. So very beautiful reading, guys. Uh, please comment below. Let me know how these messages are resonating. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Till next time, guys.